Chris Dabber Driver here. Welcome back to another Theme Deck Corner. This is Theme Deck Corner number six, Lightning Loop. Zero Aura is our main stay here. And uh, we will get started on this. We'll go over the deck tech and go over our matches and just win one. <laughs> Okay, everybody, so as you can see, we have Zero Aura here as our main attacker. 120 HP Lightning type with the attack Crushing Claw for 20, discards a special energy. That's very good against the Necrozma deck with that weakness guard energy. And we have Discharge, which if your Magneton, Magnezone is on board and you can attach three lightning energy at once you can discharge for 150 damage and that's kind of your big attacker in this deck is zero aura knocking out basically anything in its path as long as you can get the energy and magna zone set up so to go over some other things we have stunfist which has proven to be a powerful attacker on his own with a, another pokemon from the unbroken bonds set but uh it can also work pretty well in this. You can just kind of shuffle things around. Um, its main attack is Electric Trap. Does 30 damage to each of your Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. Uh, that's not what I'm talking about. Um, is it? Does 30 damage 4. Sorry, 4, not 2. Does 30 damage 4 each of your Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. So as long as you have 1 damage counters across the board, does 30 times 5, which is 150 damage for 2 energies, which is very strong. Raging Thunder puts some damage onto your bench Pokemon. This attack does 10 damage to one of your bench Pokemon and does 30 a base. So they can kind of scale Raging Thunder, your bench Mons, and then you can Electric Trap for big damage. And I like how they already kind of set you up to think about it with Gumi, because Gumi is a good Pokemon to put it with in, um, in a deck. We also have Magnezone and we have the line to evolve him. Uh, Searching Magnus is also very good because you can get three lightning energies into your hand right away. Uh, but Magnetic Circuit is what you're playing this for. As often as you like, before you attack, you may attach a lightning energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon. This is as many lightning energies as you want. You can attach it to Magnezone itself to hit for 130, but you can't use Zap Cannon next turn. Or you can attach it to your Zero Aura and attack for 150 and then get the energies back and do it all over again. Uh, we also have a simple attacker in this and eradicate your uh, opponent's active Pokemon is an evolution Pokemon. Switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. Um, so it gives you that kind of free switch option and hits first 70, which is not a bad number at all. Gnaw for 30 is a phenomenal number, but with that 30 HP, it's kind of difficult to keep a rip Tata alive. We also have Meowth for Catterday. This is your general start mon. You want to start with Catterday so that you can go ahead and draw two cards and put me out to sleep and then another uh basic attacker here we have is dodrio this try attack does 60 damage for each hedge now that can hit for 180 but more reliably hits for 60 or 120. um and then you have accelerating stab you can't use accelerating stab next turn that's just a guaranteed 90. half of what try attack can do but still useful and then we have Doduo as well to evolve into Dodrio. And that's our basic Pokemon line. Again, similar to the Battle Mine, this has more Pokemon in it than Trainers, which is a little strange, especially since this one does not have the draw support Pokemon like the other one does. Instead, they opted for like a second quick attacker. So I'm not sure about that. I think this one dead draws a little bit more than the other one. But that does have a lot of draw support. It has two... Uh, six, um, eight, ten draw supporters for a Bean deck. Now that's half, that's more than half of the trainers that it's even putting in this deck. So that's a lot. Um, as for the other trainers, you know, we have Switch, general Switch to be able to get something out of the active and onto the bench. We have two Cynthia's, two Fishermen to get those energies back from the discard pile after you've discarded them with Zero Aura. You got Hal for general draw support. Lily for some big draw support early game. Uh, Looker for some bottom of the deck draw support. And then we have 20 Lightning Energy to round it out um, and create a deck of 60 cards. We're going to go ahead and take this over to the Versus ladder though um, and see what we can do against the rest of these decks. So this is what? Lightning Loop? 
There it is, Lightning Loop. You don't see this played too much. You probably see Laser Focus played more than anything else right now, as it is a newer deck, um, and it's considered pretty pretty powerful right off the bat with a with kind of a, a base set, basic thing for a Malamar deck, which is a semi-popular deck in the format. Um, it's dying down a little bit since it's at the early ends of the format, but still sees play from time to time as it is a powerful card. So Virian is calling the coin flip. We're trying to see a Blastoise's face again, I guess. Hard to say specifically. And we lost the coin flip because they chose Blastoise's face. Okay, what are we starting with? We're starting with a Rattata, I think. Just mostly because we can evolve it right away. Turn two. As long as they can't hit 30 turn one, I guess, right? That's where our mistake might be. But I think we can throw it on the Doduo and lose the lightning energy and get a big Lily turn one, which is going to be nice. Um, yep, we'll go ahead and throw it on Doduo. And we're facing against Blastoise, so of course they get their perfect starter in Farfetch, which collects, draws two cards, does not fall asleep. But I think they were trying to go for like the Jirachi effect of the more Pokemon put themselves to sleep rather than just uh, just being put to sleep. Lightning Energy, we will go ahead and start with that. Maybe I should have went with the pack. But we're gonna Lily for a big four. And look, we can evolve both, which I kind of like. Kind of stuck after that though. We're gonna go ahead and gnaw for 30. Luckily we don't have a tool, so they can't tool buster us and just knock us out. If they get a Kakui, obviously, they could. But uh, that is if they get the perfect Kakui. No! Not the Kakui. So that kind of sticks us, sticks it to us. That's the problem with uh, starting Rattata. Hits big numbers, but also like fails to do a follow-up attack just due to the fact that he has super low HP. Um, I think I'm gonna keep the Dodrio in my hand and go ahead and go for the Looker. And I want to attack with Peck. I think that 10 damage matters. Then we can evolve into Dodrio. I just don't think they're going to hit the 70 this turn. They're finally getting down a Squirtle. So I think we're slightly ahead by like one half turn. Because <laughs> we can evolve this into Magneton next turn if we can get it. Looks like we can try to at least go ahead and evolve this. And we can't really do anything else with the rest of this. So we're going to go ahead and Cynthia... Hoping we're going to get a Magneton. That is not a Magneton. That's a bunch of birds. We'll throw down a Meowth because we can at least uh, retreat into it. Now I'm so scared of not hitting any of the coin flips. Even though that's probably the better attack. I only have to hit it for 40. But Accelerating Stab seems... Nah, we'll do Accelerating Stab. We'll just alternate between it. That way we take the first prizes and try to kind of just run away with this game. That's what we're going to try to do, just run away with this game. On the back of a bird. On the back of a three-headed ostrich. They're going to try to headache us, I think. Prevent us from playing any trainer cards. However, we don't have any trainer cards, so it's not going to give us too much of a headache here anyways. They got that. Are they going to go ahead and evolve and get that amnesia? Copycat. Something I wish I had right now. And... Coin flip. Okay, they got the heads. Are they going for a war turtle or a gold duck? Gold Duck, okay. Gold Duck. They're going to go for the Amnesia. I'm not sure if they're going to go after the Try Attack or if they're going to go after Accelerating Stab. Because we cannot use Accelerating Stab this next year, so if they go after Try Attack, then we can't attack. 
but if they don't go after try attack um, let's see which one did they choose okay so they did choose try attack I can't use try attack luckily we have kind of we have free retreat here so I'm actually just going to retreat into Matt Meowth and go ahead and do a Catter deck. That way we get at least two cards. And we can try to start sloshing through our deck here. Maybe get a Magneton and get that set up so we can easily knock things out with Zero Aura. Like their main attacker is Blastoise. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe their main attacker is kind of more Golducky. But, uh... That's 90 damage, and that's 150 damage, I think. Blastoise is still technically the main attacker. But then, this this set is before this set. So, like, it's just like they keep power creep in it so that the theme decks from the, pre the most recent set are the strongest, which is why the most recent ones are actually, like, very strong. Cool. So maybe this one I hit them with Oh, they're gonna knock me out I will look her I think I'm gonna do this and we can just let's go for the knockout nope hmm. that's the problem with try attack right there right there is what happens what's a youtube filming smash you know what a youtube filming is how are you doing tonight man big shout out to a wonderful streamer as long as they smell your spell smell as long as they spell your name right you were playing this game last time too uh so what i'm doing right now smash is actually filming a, a series called theme deck corner where i go over the theme decks kind of run them through a couple of matches kind of show their strengths and the weaknesses off um so people can just kind of get a better sense of the theme decks like this one i just tried the try attack and just got tails that simple not much you can do if you get like a bunch of tails so now i'm kind of forced to attack with a, a baby baby Rattata here and i'm trying to get a magnezone finally something to help that magnezone uh yeah so <laughs> trying to get the magnezone so that we can finally attack i think i'm going to sack this rat as well i think the gnaw for 30 is just better than trying to evolve it and survive an attack exceptionally tired i mean it is it is a tuesday after labor day here so when i'm filming so it's uh it's not surprising that it's a tiring day i know a lot of people were very tired um uh today so a lot of my coworkers were like very tired they were so tired they told me to go home early and i was like okay i can do that no i just hit record I just hit record while I'm streaming. It's going to become just a, it's kind of like a VOD, but it's just like this deck all together is going to be one thing. So they got rid of the rat and I can knock this out with two lightning energy. I think I can trust that I can get a magneton out of this. I guess this is the last chance, right? I'll toss this on there, and we will Cynthia, and just hope we get a Magnezone. That's just, it's kind of the hope and pray of a uh, of a theme deck, right? Is a hope and pray, and just get lucky. That that's problem is I gotta discard all the energy. Um, choose a lightning energy, and don't attach that to the main one. <laughs> is basically how that goes 
So now I can just kind of try to chain knockouts. The problem is it discards every lightning energy. Like, I don't need to discard every lightning energy, but this deck only plays lightning energy. So I'm forced to discard every lightning energy, which is all the energies on it. But we do have fishermen, so we can put three and two, or three and one back on this next one, this next turn. So there's that. This deck is kind of hit or miss though. We are extremely behind despite like setting up better because we sacked what, two rats and a bird and a cat to be able to get this far. But now they're flailing a little bit. But the problem is I have to hit them for 150 right now to be able to <laughs> attack. But we have five energy, so like I said, I can kind of set up both of them. Put three on this guy. And two on this one. Which I guess is the point of having 20 energies. But this is what feels bad, is discharging for the knockout, hitting for 150 on a squirtle. <laughs> What's up, Ainero? How you doing tonight? I wonder what you were playing today. I think you were streaming earlier. I gotta... I don't know if you ended up responding to the Discord or not. But there is a question for you in there. But Ainero's another great streamer. Streaming Kingdom Hearts in its entirety. I think he started at 1. Now he's on 1.5, 2.5 remix. Great. That, that answers my question, Nero. <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and how here. See, this is where we're kind of stuck now because we can switch into this one, knock out a Psyduck for another 150 damage, but that doesn't do us the best. In fact, I wish I had a bird. Hmm. I think maybe I save this one. And just Crushing Claw. The Crushing Claw is very, very weak. Birth by Sleep. I think the only one I played was one. I, I might have started to, but I didn't finish it. So we ended up annoying Blastoise to... Like, I think his only hope was that I ran out of energy. And we didn't do that. Um, I think that was game one, though. Like, we still have... Two more games to run with this. Looks like we're almost to that Dawn Wings. A free Dawn Wings. Or a free Unified Minds pack. That's nice. So let's go ahead and take Lightning Loop for another lap. Probably another two laps. Just to see how it plays out. Um, so obviously with that first one, it kind of showed that you get Magna Zone set up. You just kind of want to keep putting energies down. Uh, you will eventually run out, but your hope is that before you run out, you uh, beat your opponent. Or they forfeit like the last game. Today we are facing a Charizard deck now though. Um, and ooh, what's the good starter here? I feel like Crush Claw is not it. This is where we can kind of show off Stunfisk a little bit. It's a little strange guy. Um, that does 30 damage for the damage counters on your opponent on your Pokemon. So we can go ahead and Raging Thunder turn one and get some damage on Zera Aura. And if our Lily does well, we can actually pull some more basics and pop them down and try to get some damage on them as well to be able to do Electric Trap for a lot of damage. Um, not sure if it's going to be doing very well against the Nido Queen Rapidash Charizard combo, but. If we can kind of do it quickly, we might be able to do it do it well, I guess. That was a bad Lily. A super bad Lily. But we're gonna have a Dragon Thunder and almost knock it out. I forgot about that simple weakness damage that can hinder the Farfetch'd so badly. I wish we had a Psychic Mon. I don't think we do. We're gonna Kakui. Go ahead and try to hit me for 40. I think that just powers up Electric Trap, though. 
Like, I think it immediately does, like, 60 because of that. Ah, agility for 80. That's the play. That is the play. So I guess we'll throw it on the tiny rat. We're going to have to go in with this, though. Oh, my goodness. The best things ever, I guess. I don't know. We're going to electric trap for 60 damage. But wow, those last two drop supporters did super well for me. Uh, that was rough. That was kind of rough. Ooh, just knocking that out cleanly. Um, they got tails though, so we can hit them. Just got to hit them with gnaw for like slightly not enough damage. What is this draw? Oh, that's helpful. That's super helpful. <sighs> We're gonna have to hope he misses another agility flip and then knock him out with Zero Aura. But wow. Wow, that's doing well for me. <laughs> yeah, this is probably not my favorite theme deck. It does have some good cards in it. But together, it's just missing something. And I think it's missing, because it's compared to Battlemind, it's missing a draw support mon. And it just doesn't have anything like that. Or a way to continually, like, stream lightning energies. It draws lightning energies, but does not stream them well. Um, <laughs> my hand should not look like this. My hand should not look like this. I guess I just got to memorize what these look like. So if I get called on upon to draw them, I can. Oh, that was a nice play. To have Charmander knock out the rat. Charmander just burns rats to a crisp. But yeah, see this is, this is just great A with this deck. Probably best at actually is just bricking. Like I can't even use Lily. And I can't play any of these one, two, three, four, five, six cards. Not that this helps me, but it's less cards in the discard. Let's go ahead. It actually attacks for more. And I should have did that before I Fisherman. But it is what it is. It is what it is. We just got Stunfist. Now Stunfist should be immune, right? Because he's a ground type? Not the case. In the TCG. In the TCG. Oh, well, he chose not to damage me. Interesting. I think he's just going to go for the one hit on me, though. But that still hits for 30 because I got zero aura damaged already. So cool. One thing down. Now we can power up a Doduo. It's going to be slightly faster. They might be able to pull off the agility here and just, like, prevent us entirely from attacking them, though. But they're not. They're going to call for family. Hmm. Interesting call. I guess they're trying not to damage Stunfisk. Not sure why. But they are definitely trying to not damage Stunfisk. Whew. This hand. This hand. It's okay. I'll just Raging Thunder. Hopefully it doesn't hit me for weakness. Does not. Great. But that way I can set up Electric Trap to just do well. <laughs> this opponent's making your brain mush. Why? Because they keep retreating and like, they're like overplaying it. It's like theme decks. You don't need to overplay Stunfish so he doesn't knock out your Nidoran. I know he's wasting valuable fire energy on Rapidash here. Which is living on 10 HP. 
It's just weird. Yeah, I'm not sure what they're doing here exactly. Not much, I guess, is the answer, but... Like, they just seem to be like, I don't want to do that kind of thing. And it's like, okay. Stunfisk is not that big of a threat, but sure, we'll take you out. I'll take the prize. If you don't want it, finally, we got a Magmite. And we can finally get one of these three tons on the field to get a zone. Zone defense. Which will allow us to actually play the game. We can finally play some cards from our hands. Maybe get rid of these seven energies that we've drawn in the last two turns. Finally doing some damage to good old little Stunfisk. And they get the heads. Oh, I get the head flip. Okay, we just go right to Magmite. And uh, we don't switch or anything. We just go ahead and Electro Trap. We got three. So we can do 90 damage to it. We might be able to Raging Thunder next turn. So then Stunfisk is just like a monster. But uh, I'm not sure. Like my opponent has kind of wasted a lot of energy just retreating. Waiting for like Needle Queen to set up. Hmm. I guess that's what they're waiting for is just the Needle Man. 60 damage. 20 damage. Zero damage. I actually did not get rid of the burn that time. But neither did they. So here's like a fun little little thing. We just throw a rat at him. Go ahead, Rattata. Attack that pony. And here we go with the finally setting up. I don't know how many turns later. I guess we could go to the log. Turn 21. Turn 21. So turn 20. 10 turns in. Finally setting up. After getting through... 39 cards in the deck. Um, we finally get a Magna Zone done. And uh, we can probably continue getting knockouts here. The burn damage knocks it out. Hilarious. Hilarious. Go get him, Stunfisk. Yeah, there. So with this deck, it's a lot of that, where they, it's like if you finally get set up after the whole game has happened, you just you just win. Um, I don't know how that keeps happening, but that's what keeps happening. So there's Stunfisk in action. Does 30 more damage for each damage, or not for each damage, but for each Pokemon that is damaged on your bench. And uh, sometimes your opponents just uh, overplay a Stunfisk. Um, it's that simple, I guess. If they can't one-hit knock out it, they don't want to hit it. Not a lot of things one-hit knock it out. And then here we go. We're going to be facing off against the Necrozma deck here, which is considered the powerhouse of theme decks right now. Um, mm, mm, yes, we have to evolve into Magnezone. We need to go first. <laughs> wonder which Pokemon we're going to start with. So this is where this one's missing is that, you know, it's does, just does not have a lot of Pokemon that draw for it. So starting like things like Rattata, attacking for 30 is like good if you can continually do it. But with the 30 HP, like I said, can be a kind of a major flaw in this deck. Um, and Rattata can be a very good attacker with the right cards. Um, I am not finding those right cards, nor do are they really in this deck. Um, unfortunately, this is a perfect start for my opponent. They get Mess Spirit, first contact, they get three Benchmons. They already have a Type Null and a Young Goose. So they only need Inke and a uh, Necrozma. Why would you throw Tauros down? 60 for two is not as strong as two Inkes. 
it just it's not not at least not in my opinion but this is their deck and they're clearly beating me right now so maybe they are playing it right and i'm not um they get a simple how all they need is a melomar and they're kind of basically set up here yeah so they can get energy on their necrozma on their type null on their young goose that's going to turn into a gumshoes any of the above um and it can kind of just go from there these energies are very helpful i just need my archie's ace in the hole for electric tights that valkner's i don't know <laughs> valkner's is an actual card that's not gonna help you in this match which well it would help you in this match but that's only if i pulled it had a rare candy and it was a turn later that's that's the only way it would help me right now um but this just keeps happening to me against Necrozma decks where the deck starts to run well and then just brick cities um, against Necrozma. Necrozma has a weird effect on other decks. Wow, two basics that we get to throw down. And I guess I just double kick here. Attempt to hit for 40. Or, you know, 20. That works, too. <laughs> Why do you say that, Nero? Uh, I hope I'm not saying it wrong. I know you just corrected me, like, the other day. And I keep saying it wrong. A bug catcher fail. But look at this. Special laser. laser they're just... They're off. Off to the races. Go get him, little flatfish. Yes. Flatfish and uh, rats. That's what we got here. Flatfish and rats. <laughs> Does it matter which one I damage? I'm going to drop some narrow hearts here. Nope. Not that one. This one! Because I love this guy. There you go. A little stun fisk is going down. Let's go into the rat. Can the rat take on this legendary Pokemon? The answer is no, but... I thought it'd be funny to hit it for 30. It's like a flail. I'm like flailing here with rats and magnets. And fish. And, and tiny birds. So, I mean, like I said, with most theme decks, that's just the way they play out sometimes. Sometimes the deck's running on all cylinders. We did get to kind of show it off with the Magnazone working, the Zero Aura. But uh, sometimes it just, it just falls flat. Just the way of theme decks. But well, we're going to grab these three lightning energies and then get knocked out by Necrozma and say, well played, sir. I have 34 cards in my deck. And you said bye, bye, bye to me. Uh, an improvement on this deck. I mean, obviously you could go with the rare candy route. Um, and like a better lightning attacker. But at this point... Like, Magnazone's just not the best way to to uh, bring lightning energies into play. It's just not. There's there's cards like Tapu Koko. This one. Dance of the Ancients. You get two lightning energies right away out of your bench. I mean, out of your uh, discard pile. That then goes to the Lost Zone. Um, there's just better, better lightning... Um, even Pikachu's one of these, you know. It's just a better lightning search. Search your deck for three lightning energies. So, it just does better for you than, you know, this is going to do for you. Now, I do think something that could also make this better is a simple stadium. The simple stadium of Thunder Mountain. Make sure lightning Pokemon, both yours and, and your opponent's, cost one lightning less. If you could get this on the field... And keep it on the field so that your Zero Aura is only 
having two lightnings attached to it rather than three and you attack for 100 every turn that's going to make this card a lot better um but apart from that there's usually just better attackers out there because you know what he can do for a lightning and double colorless this one can do 150 damage can survive longer and just do better all over um there's also things like the uh another good uh lightning attacker is this other uh tag team raichu raichu which is a wonderful card the tandem shock you know does 160 when it switches into the active you have the other uh uh zara aura as well that just usually performs better than this one 160 for three energy and if you have that thunder mountain out it's for two energy generally just does better damage for you than the non gx attacker will i'm not sure if this one's actually better though i don't think it is 20 damage to itself uh better damage output but definitely still suffers from that 120 hp which is very easy to knock out for most things um, I believe there was at one point a Magnezone Pikachu Zekrom, but Magnezone being a Sage 2 is just more difficult to get out nowadays. Um, and the other card you would need to quicken things up is probably Rare Candy. Allows you to evolve from a basic straight to a Stage 2, and uh, that's a very strong card. Um, the best ways to get it out is like a Greens uh, Exploration or a Bill's Analysis. Greens is better, but because you're playing uh, abilities, it makes it more difficult to use. Uh, plain and simple. But uh, that's my thoughts on the Lightning Loop deck. Um, we're going to go ahead and cut over here in the video. Um, I do want to thank everybody so much for stopping by the video today. Be sure to check out some of the other theme deck corners. I will be getting caught up on the most recent ones soon. I'll be doing uh, Dragonite Necrozma this following Tuesday, I believe. And uh, yeah, we're slowly getting caught back up on these Steam decks and then we'll be playing some random decks as well. And just, uh, you know, having fun with the client of Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. I do want to thank everybody so much. I will bid you guys a low lot. I hope to see you guys on some more Steam Deck videos and whatnot. Be sure to follow me over on Twitter as well. We have pack of days every single day. We have uh, links to our Twitch account, which we play Mario Kart on. We play Fire Emblem. We play uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance. All sorts of different Switch games as well as this. So I do want to thank you guys, and I will bid you guys a lola. Bye-bye.